Hey, hey everybody, this is Melina from scrapbookingwithme.com and Me Crafty Scrapper here on YouTube and Instagram. Today is an episode of Masterboard Making. Um, I try to do one of these a month um, just to kind of get rid of some more of my scraps. I know I do M Scrapbusters, but this gets rid of some of my scraps too. And I'm wanting to make a cover for a journal that I'm working on and it has specific colors in it so I'll be using those today and I'm going to be using some book page as my background that I would not be using um, as torn pieces on other projects because this is kind of like the um, table of contents and dedication page and things like that so um, this came out of that um, altered book that I did a few videos back and I'm wanting to make the um, master board or the journal cover about 13 inches wide so I've just got my t-square ruler here and I'm trying to line these up on my mat and I'm going to glue them together and um, then we're going to have um, it glued where it's just about 13 inches so about right here so I need to put these a little closer together so this month's master board is a little different than what it has been being because I have just been using a um, piece of cardstock as my back my background but I decided to do something a little bit different this month and I need to get my art glitter glue unplugged here so excuse me while I get that done there we go okay I'm gonna line this up on my mat my tummy is growling so I apologize if anybody has to listen to that okay and then I'm just going to glue that down I'll come back and glue a little more if I need to and then I'm going to overlap this one and then see how much further in I need to come so about here okay so I will pencil mark exactly good job Melina good good job all right and then I will glue over as far and then add my page on and get it as lined up as possible because we need it pretty straight since it's going to be a journal cover you know okay and then over the edges here I'm going to put just a little bit more glue and kind of spread that over the edges so all of that is taken care of and we don't have any lifting when we start putting our stuff down okay then I'm going to get my non-stick mat and put down so we don't mess up our mat below and then I'm going to need to use some teal colored scraps because the um, journal that I'm wanting to make has lots of teals in it so I'm looking forward to this because teal is like one of my favorite ever colors so I have some blues some teals this is more teal blue than it's showing on screen I have some stamped on craft scrap paper and I want to use some bigger pieces of scrap on this just to kind of sturdy up that background and so I'm thinking that I want to go ahead and just tear this and use on top and bottom and then I will cover up as needed I'm 
when I get my edges covered up well. Let me do something like this. And go all the way to the edge and cover up the edges of this book page. And then add on some postcard, of course. One of my favorite things ever. I love that. So pretty. I wish postcards were as um, prominent and popular as they once were. So pretty. The art of writing itself is just a gorgeous thing. And not done enough. If you ask me, which of course nobody did, so it doesn't matter, but I still like to give my opinion anyway. <laughs> oh gracious. All right, and then maybe a little piece of this here. I like that. And maybe our really blue, teal blue back here to cover that up. And then another little piece of that plain solid cardstock somewhere. So I'm kind of thinking um, front, back, spine, you know, just trying to make a cohesive layout here. So we can um, get distinctive things for front and back when we do the cover. pretty and we'll add stuff over the top of that. I'm going to get my scrap bowl and I'm thinking that I really love this um, journaling card or library card here that's got blue on it. I'm thinking this might be something that I could put on the front and then add a butterfly die cut or something to the front of it or on top of it whatever and maybe a word label or something like that and that be the front accent on our journaling cover journal cover see something like that once we get it all covered up I like that okay and maybe a little bit of bag that um, forever <laughs> paper bag that I have in my scrap pile that I just can't seem to use all of all of it yet and then a piece of Tim Holtz paper that I haven't used all of yet and then if some of the book page is showing through, that's great, but it is thin, so I might need to um, get it covered up quite well and then just add more book page onto the top. That will probably be best since it is so thin. And then I really like that and leave the notebook hole out exposed like that. And maybe this little butterfly paper here is gorgeous and goes along with our theme. I've got some circle book page, it looks like. If it will come out of the bowl, that I could cover up that little piece right there with. I like that. Here, here's some that's got 
just a little bit of teal there. That's some more Timothy Holtz, maybe there. And we can fill in with book page. Let's find a sheet here. Yep. Fill it on in with book page here and there and everywhere. Could even put that as background underneath all of that. And then I think once I get one more piece here, I want to go ahead and glue it all down. I'm not going to ink. I'm going to ink um, everything when I get it put down. So I won't do that before I get it adhered. But I will ink later, so y'all will still see me ink. No worries. <laughs> I'm just not going to ink before I put it down because when I do that, it just, um, the ink kind of smears with the collage podge and I don't really like how that looks. So I think I will just um, ink afterwards. And I might kind of fussy cut this flower here. Just kind of rough fussy cut. Doesn't have to be perfect. And add somewhere along here to cover up political wording. And then I'll cover that there. Something like so. And then uh, after we glue all of this down, we'll come back and add some accents to it. And then maybe add on our little library card and put a butterfly die cut on top and then add probably some lace onto it too because I like how that's uh, coming together as far as the creams and stuff that's in here. I think I might need a little bit more book page somewhere so I might add that along there somewhere. All right, I'm going to get all of this glued down and then I will be back to show you what it looks like after I've glued it down. I might even bring you back to see parts of it on the edges here where I'm gluing. I am finishing up what my base layer, what all I want as my base layer. I'm finishing all that up, making sure that little corners are down really well and that all has a coat of collage page on it on the top side. This is matte, so it will not dry shiny. It will dry matte, have a matte finish, but I just want to make sure that all of the surface has that on it and that it's all down very well along the edges of all the little pieces. There we go. And then I'm thinking for the front. I love that August 1937 that's showing through. I know you can't really see it really, really well right now because it's got collage pods all over the top of it. But I really like that. And I'm thinking, I like that. I don't want to cover up this and I don't want to really cover all of that up. So I'm going to put this little journaling card piece that I cut out from that paper. 
I'll put it here as my front or on the front of my journal and cover. So when I fold it up, that'll be on the front. Okay, and I need to find a butterfly piece to add on to the top of it too before everything dries. I want to use this little butterfly stamp that I have in my stash. You get the backing off. It's got adhesive on it, but it's going to get more adhesive too. Okay, I like that about right there. And then add just a touch of collage podge on the top of it and get that put down where I want it and make sure that it's covered and adhered down on all edges. Aaron Jonas is in his room and he is singing along with whatever he's watching on his tablet. So y'all get a free concert too. And let's hope it's not anything too popular and copyrighted so I don't get muted. <laughs> Let me get a wipey here. All right, now I'm just gonna get off the excess but making sure not to take away any that is needed of that collage podge okay, and while it's still wet still drying I'm going to get some white gesso and I'm just going to barely put some on the edge of my spatula. I'm just gonna run that across on a few little places and try not to have too many brush strokes. What I will do is use my little wipey and kind of pat 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 to get the brush strokes out. You know just a few little white areas. I think I will get, I'm going to try something here. I'm going to get this craft, just a scrap piece of craft cardstock. And I'm going to put some white gesso on it. So there's the scrap piece and just kind of blot it onto my piece. Oh, I like that look. I like how that looks. Let's kind of get that so it's not so prominent. I'll go over it with my wipey in a minute. I like how that looks. That is pretty. Let's do a little bit more on here. I'm just kind of smearing it on thinly and then trying to get out my brush strokes so that's not a prominent thing to see and just dab do I like that okay that one's a little too prominent so I will dab 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 to tone that down a little bit I like how that looks let's cover that in some dab that away a little bit very pretty to me may not be to anybody else but to me it's very pretty I like that Okay, I like the muted um, white gesso. I'm going to throw this away. Put my white gesso up because I don't want to cover up any more of that. I'm going to, while it's wet, add some tarnished brass because the journal that I'm making has got that orangey brass looking look to it. So I want to use 
some of that. Oh, I really love this tarnish brass. And we keep this in stock at scrapbookingwithme.com. So if you want some tarnished brass, you can find that on our website. Do a few little clustery bits in places. Mm, love that. And then when this dries all the way, I will, of course, add um, some inking to the edges. I'm just getting what I want put on there as far as color. And let's add a few white splatters, too. We've got a lot of white on there, so I'm not going to add too many. But just to kind of highlight around on it do a few so my camera is not wanting to cooperate but here's a little up close while it's still drying okay and then we'll fold this in half of course and it will be our journal cover and we're going to ink the edges with walnut stain from Tim Holtz so I will get that out and as soon as this dries we will start inking the edges and we'll have a, a journal cover ready for the new journal I am in the middle of making. I'm very excited about that and very excited about the colors that um, are on this. Love it. So we're pretty much dry. We still have some dampness to it, but it's nothing that we can't just go ahead and ink the edges of. So I've got my Walnut Stain ink from Tim Holtz, and it is a darker um, look than the vintage photo. So I'm going to go around all of my edges with that, and then I'm probably, <laughs> that's my, my son opening a soda in the background, uh, I'm probably going to add a little bit of some black soot to this also. Um, that is another Tim Holtz Distress Ink color. Just so that I can get a little darker colors put into it um, because the papers that I'm going to be using on my journal do have um, dark black colors and so I want that to go along with that and not just be an afterthought and it is a little washed out from the white gesso that I added to it so that's another reason to get some of that black soot added onto it too so all around the edges with the walnut stain okay, and then I'm gonna get a little heavier on a few edges and if you go along that white gesso that you put on your projects go along that a little bit and you get a little extra character too along that I like that and then let's get out that black soot and I'm going to get my distress brush for this with the black soot and get a real good cover of it and go along some of the edges and get that little darker and a few more little distressed edges on things just kind of bump it up against where it's already a little bumpy as far as the cover goes and you can um, bump up against some of those edges see that's just a little higher bumped up and so if you go along you're going to get some distressed look so lots of distressing going on on this project and I like how it is looking so far I want to add 
a little bit more black onto that coffee dyed paper and when you do it just along the top of it you get more ink and more character along where the edges of your scrap paper that you added on are so I like that look and I think I need a little bit more added along the way here and there yep I like that we're just kind of you know because we didn't ink our edges whenever we put this together so I like that and I think I might add since I went back and put in that black I might add a few more white drops and a few more of the tarnished brass drops to that before I finish it but I do want to show you on the inside you know we have it's our book page and I'm going to cover that with some craft card stock but when we fold this up so here is the front of our journal cover so that's our front love that the front and then there is the back I'm not folding it I'm not giving it that good crease yet because we're still a little damp and I want everything to dry the way it should so there is our cover oh I just love that I will give you of course a better um, look at it in a still shot at the end but I am going to get my mat back up here and I'm going to Turn it over and I'm going to use this black soot around the edges a little bit on the inside. And then I'm wanting this to show, so I'm just going to add um, my craft cardstock. I'm just going to add to the insides of this. So I'm really going to ink up these edges with the black soot, and I'm going to come back through and do the um, walnut stain also. So that we're not just looking at a bunch of black ink on the <laughs> edges even though it is very pretty I like that but let's soften it up a little bit too so there is our black that we've added to the edge and then let's go in and blend it a little bit better with some walnut stain and I'm just going to kind of hold in the middle here and go around and see look at that how pretty I love that look and that is just from your um, collage podge coming in on the inside of your cover and that's what's making that look that kind of almost burnt look because you've got that dried collage podge and now you're going in and you're putting in some ink putting on some ink I need to glue that down better and it's given that very distressed almost ink resist look to the edges I just love that look that is so cool okay so there's that I'm going to get my glue we are going to cover this but I want it to stay down get my glue put that edge down that was wanting to come up and then I'm going to put some craft card stock in and cover that up 
So I'm going to need a piece. Oh, I think that's going to be good. Okay, so a 12 inch piece. So I've got 12 inch cardstock. So I'm good there. So I need a 12 inch piece by, let's do eight and a quarter. So the inside, oh yeah, that's going to cover it very well. And then um, I will, I think I'm going to cut this down the middle and leave a little bit of space for the spine in the middle. And then that way we won't have too much uh, warped up. So I'm going to do that. And I'm going to ink the edges of this also. So let's cut this down the middle. So we're going to cut it down the middle. We have a 12 inch piece, so we need to cut it at 6. We have our two pieces that will go like so. Then we've got our middle that will have the signature sewn down the middle, so it doesn't matter if you want to ink that. Go ahead and do that if you want to. Doesn't matter because it's going to have signature sewn down the middle. You don't have to do anything to that because all of those pages, that spine is going to be covered up. So I'm inking the edges of my craft card stock that I'm adding to the inside of my journal cover. Okay, I need to add some more inking here. I just didn't get it dark enough, it didn't look like, so more inking there. We got that good there. Oh, I like that. Okay, I'm going to center these up on both edges and get them glued down. I'm going to use a mixture <laughs> and try not to inhale. <laughs> I'm going to use uh, Fabrifix and um, then I'm going to use a little bit of art glitter around the edges. So there is our inside covered up with our craft cardstock, and then we'll put pockets on the inside here, um, uh, more decoration from our paper collection that we'll be using. And then there is the front of our cover and the back. Open it up, and I'm going to get my bone folder and push down really well on this. See that glue's coming out, squishing out, so that means it wasn't distributed like it needed to be. There's some more. Really 
and push that down. I mean, and we have made a journal cover now out of book page and um, collaged scrap pieces, and then our craft cardstock on the inside there. And I've got some of that tarnished brass that is coming off. So I want to turn this over so that this kind of gets in contact with some of that that's come off of the front. And I'm going to add, I'm going to go a step further. I'm going to add a little bit of black soot speckles to the outside along with some more of the white and tarnished brass just because we've got so much of that black on the inside and then we look at the outside and it's a little too pale. Okay, and then I want to cover up the little stamp because I don't want to get any more ink on that. So let's cover that up like so, and add some black speckles. I really like that. The black speckles, add a few more tarnished brass speckles and really add them on where you've put on that black soot okay yeah I don't want any more on that butterfly piece so I just left that on there okay and then a few more white speckles and I will be satisfied with this cover got a few too heavy but I can wipe that off easily okay I like that so I will once this is all dry I will get you a um, still shot at the end so that you can see it up close and personal. And um, there may even be a little bit of lace added to the front. I'm not sure yet, but I really do love that lace. So I may add that to the front there and the back so that way when you close it you have that border of lace I really like that so anyway whatever I do if I do end up adding the lace onto it I will show you a picture of it at the end after everything is dry thank you so much for sticking around and seeing my master board for this month I really enjoyed making this one and I cannot wait to um, make my journal and add in my pages and everything to the inside of this one. This one is going to be very special to me, I do believe. Y'all have a great day. I'll see you in the next video. Bye, y'all. Mm -hmm.